Testimony now on that horrifying case of child abuse, the Palmdale man accused of murdering an eight-year-old boy. Prosecutors say the child was tortured for months before he died. CBS 2's Christy Fajardo is live downtown with more on this disturbing case. Christy. Yeah, Rick, once again, there were tears in the courtroom as jurors heard testimony about how little Gabriel was taken to the hospital unconscious and dying. His story has now made international headlines, and there were so many people who wanted to be in the courtroom, the bailiff had to turn some away. An overflow crowd in court today to hear firsthand from an emergency room nurse who treated young Gabriel when he was taken to the hospital after being beaten unconscious. The nurse recounted in gory detail every injury the little boy had on his body. These are multiple injuries um, uh, of, of different types. There were abrasions, there were open wounds, there was bruising, there was swelling, there was marks on the legs, there was skin missing off the top of the neck. Isaura Aguirre is now on trial for the torture and murder of Gabriel. His girlfriend, the boy's mother, Pearl Fernandez, will be tried separately. What jurors saw in photos are too graphic to show. The nurse told the court not an inch of Gabriel's body escaped harm. So there were multiple injuries on this, on, on Gabriel. Head to toe. Head to toe. Cameras weren't allowed in as Gabriel's sister took the stand again for cross-examination. Aguirre's defense asked her about her mother hitting her with a metal bat, a line of questioning that seemed to be making the case the mother was the abuser. Gabriel's brother also took the stand briefly. He was also asked about abuse before his mother met Aguirre. Next week, jurors will hear from the coroner. Back to you.